Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing a quick video on generational curses and we're literally just gonna get straight into it. Also, I realized that the angle I was filming in gives me a nice double chin. So just know that I guess I do probably have a double chin, but you're just gonna have to be like seeing up close and personal. So consider yourself lucky. If you see me in my basement, you just should know like that this is gonna be a more like sit down philosophical type video. I want to start off with explaining what are general curses. So I'm looking here at the Google definition. The cumulative effect of a person or things that their ancestors did, believed or practiced in the past, and as a consequence of the ancestors' actions, beliefs, and sins are being passed down. So like that definition kind of explains, it's something that may be like a behavior or whatever it is, something that your ancestors have sort of passed down to you and things that you yourself may also now in like have um, and then something that you can also pass down to your children if you do have any. So the way that I see them, it can be as simple as having like, for example, no routine or like not working out um, or eating healthy. Like maybe that's something that your parents and your grandparents did um, or it can be something as deep as like being unemotionally available. You know, if that's a common sort of behavioral pattern that you notice amongst like your parents and aunts and uncles um, or something like being abusive. If once again, that may be a reoccurring theme within your family. So it can mean different things to you. And like some of the things that I think are like generational curses are not like pe people might think they're kind of stupid. It's like little details of like things that I see like my family do. I think the hardest part is just acknowledging that you may have certain traits or certain behaviors or you know believe certain things that have been passed down from your family and are absolutely wrong misinformed toxic whatever it is so i think you just need to acknowledge the curse it's extremely courageous to sort of sit down and recognize these patterns within your family and within yourself you know it's actually really difficult to sort of step back and like look at what people are doing in your life and you know those close to you and especially within like yourself um and it's difficult deciding that you know it ends here with you but at the same time it's so liberating to know that like certain patterns of behavior and certain things that you know you don't believe in you have the ability to end it with you like those things never have to be passed on anymore because you can get up and say you know what it's done like i'm not going to act this way towards my kids or i'm not going to teach them these these things or i'm not going to allow this type of behavior whatever it is um you're not going to continue that anymore so obviously like that's so crazy that you can sort of be the person that like ends this like generational bad luck and the reason why they're they're curses right is because they're preventing people from moving forward they're basically preventing people from becoming the best version that they can be and for having the best maybe familial bonds or financial security or self-love or whatever it may be they're a curse for a reason right they're holding you back you want to once again look at your own behavior call yourself out but you also want to examine those around you right so your parents uncles aunts grandparents whoever it is whoever you have from your family i know some people don't necessarily live with their family members like for example none of my families in canada other than you know just my immediate family my parents and my grandparents um they live with us everyone else is back home in macedonia so I don't exactly know like what behaviors are maybe like completely gener generationally passed down or what's just something that you know my parents have adopted on their own. Now part three is to break the curse. Now this can be you know your own unique way of trying to get over things but what I would suggest to do is to first write out solutions. So you know you want to actively make a change right such as for example let's say you have a family history where everyone's like really ignorant about like LGBT community or whatever it is. So you want to go out of your way and educate yourself about that specific thing. Um, same thing as if you were like has have a family that struggles with uh, finances and maybe throughout their entire bloodline they've always been really poor Then you want to go and learn how to be financially secure. For example your family has a history of like maladaptive thought patterns, um, depression, anxiety, whatever it is. I understand that a lot of these things are genetic and maybe your family has never been to therapy. Maybe nobody in the entire bloodline has ever seeked help. You can be the first one to start that so that your kids then don't have to sort of get the repercussions from your behavior that hasn't yet been dealt with, right? Obviously, the first step is to sort of try to come up with solutions as how you yourself can improve your behavior. Now, it doesn't necessarily end with you. 
Um, you could try to speak to your family about these patterns, sort of call them out on their behavior, call them out when they maybe are thinking something that's completely outdated. Um, it's not easy. A lot of people don't want to hear that something is wrong with them, that you don't agree with the way that they act, especially if they've been like this their entire life. And especially if they also learned it from their parents. Even you might not want to call yourself out on your behavior. Um, but something that I'd suggest to do is like literally note down every single time you exhibit like one of those behaviors or you have one of those thought patterns or you do something that once again ties you back to those generational curses and then sort of reflect on what actually made you act like that. And from there, you can sort of piece together like what it is in your life that is attaching you to these general generational curses and then make solutions of how you can move forward. Um, you can like, I guess, cure everything within yourself, but you have to prepare yourself to then raise a new generation where all of these traits will hopefully be vanished. So like I said, let's say you have a long history of financial insecurity in your family. You now have to raise your children, if you do plan to have any, um, in a way where they will learn about finances at a young age and they'll be responsible with their money. So you have to do whatever you can to help them. That means also at the same time, you and your partner, whoever it is that you're having a child with, have to try to do your best to manage your finances and so that you can reach this financial security. Same thing, let's say one of your curses is that no one in your family is healthy, they don't work out, they don't really care about their body or their, their actual health. So once again, that's up to you now to implement those healthier changes in your lifestyle, whether that be eating healthy, working out, doing whatever, um, and then passing that down to your children. So making smart food decisions at home, teaching them the importance about maintaining their health and their body and helping them build like a good self-image and high self-esteem. And those things can be really difficult if you haven't experienced that. And that's why a lot of people have like trouble when they are, when they, I guess they reach an age when they get into relationships or they're having children and they're trying to figure everything out for the first time. So this kind of leads me to my next part of forgiving yourself. I obviously can't give you a billion examples, um, and that's why this video is like so short because like yes I could talk about this all day But at the same time everyone has their own unique experiences and their own unique journey And like what I think in my family is an issue may not be the same for yours, right? Um, and I do think that there's so many different things that Like I have already changed and I'm so happy about that and I feel like even if I died right now, which obviously I don't want to, I feel like there's still so much I need to accomplish in my life But you know you have to remember that you may be the first person ever in your entire bloodline to attempt to break a generational curse so just give yourself a break give yourself a break i used to be so hard on myself about this and i realized like i only have my lifetime which i don't know how long that's gonna be and i can't change everything in one lifetime it's just not gonna happen because a lot of the traits that maybe i want to change about myself they're so deeply ingrained into me that it's gonna be very difficult to make progress um, and even if I do make progress, it doesn't necessarily mean that those patterns won't once again reoccur later on. Um, it doesn't mean that they'll also be wiped out from my bloodline because, well, I have a brother and frankly, I don't know if he's also thinking the same things as I am. But just know that you've already made so much progress. Like if you're at this point where you're already consciously thinking about this and you've recognized those sort of behaviors and reoccurring patterns of like bad luck in your family, then you've already done so much. Just recognizing that alone and knowing that you want to do something about it, that's already more than most people will ever do. So you should be really freaking proud of yourself. And like, I'm proud of you too. It's so difficult to sometimes come to those realizations and to want to do better. Um, you know, forgive yourself for what you can't accomplish because yeah, you're not going to accomplish everything you want to. You know, you can work so hard and then let's say you have a child or whatever it is and one day your child is repeating those same behaviors that you you know tried to get rid of or you eventually turn into your parents or your grandparents and it's happened so many times right oftentimes when we work really hard to not be like someone we sort of end up just like them like i would find myself repeating certain things that my parents would do um especially my relationships and at the time like i didn't i didn't realize why i didn't realize what it was and i had to like slowly go through this process of like understanding why exactly I have these certain beliefs and where I got them from and how can I move past them. And it's so difficult, extremely difficult to change the things that you have known, right? Your entire life, what's shaped you, um, but it's doable. It's not impossible, although it is impossible to fix everything at once. 
you know, a lot of people, I guess, like strive for this purpose in their life. And I feel like a part of mine is literally to do this, like to break these curses. And even if I don't accomplish anything else, as long as like me being aware that there is stuff that needs to be fixed and doing my best and putting my effort forward um, to try to make changes for the future generations that come after me, then I'm satisfied. I'm satisfied with a life like that. This won't only benefit you, but it's going to benefit everyone that comes after you. And that's so, like, that's so insane to even grasp sometimes that, like, your actions right now can change the lives of, like, hundreds of people to come after you. I feel like as, like, me being a first-generation, you know, immigrant child, I feel like we always have so much pressure on us, like, in general, just, like, to be the best, to succeed at everything, to like work really hard, to strive and be better than our parents. But a lot of the times, I think people limit themselves to only be like financially better. Like, oh, you know, their parents bought like an apartment. Oh, I'm gonna buy a house. And their parents are making 60,000. Okay, I'm gonna make 100,000. And yes, of course, all of that is important. But at the same time, if you're not changing any of your behaviors that were passed down to you from, like, to, from your parents, the negative behaviors, basically, these monetary things are not even really worth it. What I'm trying to say is that like that would be so much more rewarding if you can, you know, succeed further in a monetary way, which most of us want to like, right, financially. But if you can also succeed emotionally, you can see succeed in happiness, you can succeed in, you know, relationships, like everything. And I know it's difficult, but you can do it. That brings me to the end of this video. I just want you guys to know that. If you're working on something like this, I'm really, really, really happy for you. I'm really proud of you. Um, and maybe one day I can make a more detailed video of like how exactly to maybe acknowledge your certain behavior patterns and how you can break certain curses. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Once again, this is a little like random ramble video and I really enjoyed talking about this. This is something that I've always like, I just love talking about it. I don't talk about it to many people, but I talk about it to myself in the mirror, in the car, wherever. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you liked this video, I mean, please like, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned for more content coming soon. Have a nice day.